We now learn how to find the median value of a list of data, like the one we see here. Put simply, the median value is the middle value, which splits the data into two halves. To find the median value, the first thing we need to do is to rewrite or reorganize the data that we have in such a way that it is written from smallest to largest. That is, we need to reorganize the data in increasing order. So looking at the data we have here, we can see that the smallest value is 10, followed by 12, another 12, 13, 14, and so on. So writing this data in increasing order would look like this. We'd have 10, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, and 19. Now, one way of finding the median, and you may have seen this before, is to work our way inwards from each end of the list of data until we find the middle value. And typically, that method would look like this. Starting from the 10 and the 19, we cross those out. We cross out the 12 and the 18, the 12 and the 17, the 13 and the 15. And we can see here that we're left with one middle value right here, which is 14. And that's the middle value. In other words, that's the median value of this set of data. And although this method works very nicely, it's not very practical if we have hundreds of numbers in our list of data. So we're going to learn a nice little formula to be able to pinpoint the middle value directly. And to illustrate it, let me start by rewriting the list that we had here. There we go. Now, the first thing we need to make a note of is how many numbers we have in our set of data. Looking at this list here, it doesn't take us too long to see that there are nine different values in our list. And we write that n equals to nine, meaning there are nine values in our list of data. To find the median values position in this list, we can always use the following formula, n plus one over two. And this gives us the median's position inside the list. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that result. Do make a note of it if you hadn't seen it already. So for this list of data that we have here, we know that n, the number of values, is equal to 9. So this formula, n plus 1 over 2, turns into the following. 9 plus 1 over 2, which equals to 10 over 2, which is equal to 5. And that's the median's position inside this list. That's the fifth value. So starting from the first value we have here, which is 10, we move up to the fifth value. So we have the second, third, the fourth, and the fifth value. And indeed, 14 is the median value of this list of data. Something worth pointing out here is that in this case, we had nine values in our list of data, and nine is an odd number. And when dealing with an odd number of values, the median's position will always be a nice round number, like the one we found here in fifth position. But let's see what happens when we're dealing with an even number of values. Here's the second example. Now you can go ahead and check, but if you count how many values there are here, you should see that there are 10 values in this list. In other words, in this case, we have n equals to 10. To find the median value, we still start by reorganizing this list of data in increasing order. And in doing so, we find the following. 10, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 18, and 19. Now, to find the median value's position in this list, we use our formula again. Remember, that was n plus 1 over 2. So in this case, that would be 10 plus 1 over 2. And that's equal to 11 over 2, which equals to 5.5. Careful, that's the position of the median value in this list. Now, what this tells us is that the median value is in between the fifth and the sixth value. And look at our list here, since the fifth value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 14, and the sixth value is 15, 
the median value is somewhere in between these two values. And in fact, what this 5.5 is telling us is that the median value is the average of the fifth and the sixth values. In other words, the median value is the average of 14 and 15. So we write median is equal to 14 plus 15 over 2. That's equal to 29 over 2. And finally, we can state that the median value is equal to 14.5. And so that's how we can locate and calculate the median value when we have an even number of values in our list of data. And so now we know how to find the median whether we have an odd or an even number of values in our list of data. Do remember the formula we used to locate the median value. Remember, that was n plus 1 over 2. And this formula tells us the position of the median value inside our list of data. And that's it for this tutorial. There we go, everyone. I really hope that helped. And if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.